click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new property that is a time shifting property but in discrete time Fourier transform. First of all, what do you mean by frequency shifting property? Frequency shifting property means what? If the input, if in input if we multiplied any frequency term, let's say omega naught, then at the output you can say that our output frequency is delayed by omega naught. So first of all we will see the statement and then we will move on to proof. So first of all statement if x of n discrete time Fourier transform is x of omega means we can write x of n in Fourier transform that discrete time Fourier transform by x of omega then e to the power j omega naught k x of n is transformed into discrete time Fourier transform and the result is x of omega minus omega naught. So x of omega is the discrete time Fourier transform of x of n but this omega is now delayed by this frequency. So we will prove this whole statement. So first of all we will write the definition of discrete time Fourier transform. Now what is given in my statement my input was So this input is replaced by e to the power j omega naught n x of n. Therefore my whole definition is now replaced by Now look at it. Here if the bases are same then we can add the powers. Now from the power I can take minus j omega n and plus j omega naught n. From this power I can take minus j n common. I am going to take minus j n common from this whole power. So what you will get? Omega and this omega will be there but this omega will carry the positive sign whereas this omega will carry the negative sign. Now suppose if I assume this whole bracket is nothing but my omega or you can say that let's substitute my omega minus omega naught is nothing but my omega then this will be nothing but my definition of discrete time Fourier transform. So we'll write the definition or the answer first. But as I said we are going to substitute that omega minus omega naught by omega then the whole statement will be nothing but our whole last equation is nothing but the definition of discrete time Fourier transform of x of n. But we have replaced omega minus omega naught by omega. So again we are going to resubstitute that value that is omega is replaced by omega minus omega naught. So this x of omega is replaced by omega minus omega naught and this is nothing but the property of discrete time Fourier transform that is a frequency shifting property of DTFT. So thank you for watching this video we will study a next property in next video but stay tuned to EKDA and subscribe to EKDA for further more videos. Thank you so much.